operator Well, could you help me place this call? It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Jane Pauley. On this day set aside to honor our fathers, Jim Axelrod has the story of a son's love for his famous dad and the music they share with all of us. Well, down the road, when this is past, you see me and you just might ask. The singer's life reads like a blues song. How'd I ever make it through? A catalog of loss. Loving you. Man, it's been, um, it's been a wild ride, I'll tell you. A.J. Croce lost his father before he turned two, his sight when he was four, and later, his home to fire, and his wife to a rare heart condition. When we lose someone we love, whether it was my father, my wife, um, my sight, we can decide how we want to bring it into our life. Do we want to dwell on it? Do we want to find the best part of that person, that experience, um, and keep it with us? It's a question he's wrestled with for decades. Now at 50, he has an answer he's sharing on stages across the country. Operator, well, could you help me place this call? See the number on the map, gets old and faded. If the songs sound familiar, so might the name, Croce. With my best old ex-friend, Ray. As in Jim. Photographs and memories. The early 1970s singer-songwriter Balladeer, whose string of hits included photographs and memories. To remember you, every time I try to tell you the words just... I'll have to say I love you in a song. So I have to say I love you in a song. And it's bad, bad, Leroy Brown. And Bad Bad Leroy Brown, which topped the charts in July of 1973. Two months before he died in a plane crash after a concert in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Do you have memories of your dad? Uh, you know, I have this memory of the warmth of embrace, you know. And while it's not visual for me, it's... Uh, it's palpable. And powerful, nonetheless. Very, very. Nowhere more powerful than at this farmhouse outside Philadelphia, where A.J. lived with his parents as his father's career was taking off, where album covers were inspired by farm buildings. It was originally used for pigs. This was? Yeah. And then it was for chickens. And they say you don't tug on Superman's cape. And where Jim Croce wrote his biggest hits. You don't pull a mask off that old Lone Ranger and you don't mess around with Jim. Don't, don't mess around with Jim and New York's Not My Home and Leroy Brown. All written right here. Yeah, Rapid Roy, all, all that stuff. But the security his father's success seemed to promise was also lost on that September night in 1973. It was a very dark and violent period in my life and it was very traumatic. His father gone, his mother Ingrid got involved with a man who brutally beat A.J., leaving him blind. During that time, I sat at the piano, I played along to the radio. Whatever was on my little transistor radio, whether it was ELO or McCartney or the Stones or Elton John. There was only one man's music he wouldn't touch. Like the pine trees lining the winding road, I got a name. I got a name. There were times when maybe as a teenager where it was a little bit hard to get around the shadow of my father. People had asked me to record my father's music since I was 16, 17 years old. And I really was not interested. During the next 35 years, he'd regain partial sight play the piano with everyone from Ray Charles to Willie Nelson, and develop his own reputation as a songwriter. How come the world 
us off track. How come to govern this attack? Come if he hadn't found a way to fully escape the shadow, he figured out how to live adjacent to it. Having your own success on your own terms was Absolute, liberating. Absolutely. And you didn't have anything to prove to anyone. And so maybe it was a little easier to embrace your father's stuff. It was a lot easier. Which is how this singer finally got to this stage, where Croce now plays Croce. Then I realized that he's a part of my life and I'm a part of his legacy and I felt it was important at a certain age and at a certain maturity to embrace it. It was time. Yeah. Simple. Oh, rapid roar, that stock of war, well, it's too much to believe. So now, nearly 50 years later, A.J. Croce is exploring his connection to a father he barely got to know. Most people, if they're lucky, they have a photograph. And I feel fortunate that there's a lot more than that. And so do his audiences. Just about every lover of Jim Croce's music has one song they connect with most tightly. A.J.'s no different, though his reasons certainly are. When you're performing, is there any song of your dad's that has more meaning than another? Yeah, um, certainly Time in a Bottle does. If I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do It's incredibly emotional. Why? Well, because, you know, it was written for me. And it sums up this emotion that he felt for my mother and for myself. If I could make days last forever If words could make wishes come true I feel all kinds of things. I feel joy, a sense of thoughtfulness. I'm sure you'll process this loss the rest of your life. We all do, yeah. Does playing his music help you process the loss? If it's not the cure, it's a really good remedy. Looked around enough to know you're the one I want to go through time with.